what is the problem? Well, at the moment, uh, we're having a problem with our neighbor Palestinians or so-called uh, local uh, Israeli uh, Muslims that live in Israel. And there, some of them are citizens, some of them are not. Uh, there's an uprise. It started because of the Mount Temple, Al-Aqsa, the mosque. Um, they have this thing that, you know, this uh, holy war, jihadi thing that uh, if Jews come up to the Mount Temple, we're violating whatever rights, you know, and uh, it's getting out of hand. They always, you know, throw stones, police have to go there, there's riots, they throw cocktail bottles. So it's a magical cycle of violence. tell you that if you ask most Israelis you know they don't wake up in the morning and hate Muslims there's always some people that have you know their opinion but me at least as an Israeli that I served in the military and uh, special unit for a very long time I don't wake up in the morning and have any Islamophobia problems or hate anybody I think it's real bad education and I think this cycle of violence is not gonna end very very soon and when they're coming to the into the Israeli you know city you know Jerusalem or Tel Aviv or any other place in Israel and you have these from lone wolf attacks. One takes a knife and he tries to stab, you know, a soldier or a border patrol guy at a post. Uh, they end up dead because we have to defend ourselves. So the only way to prevent terrorism in the long run is education from a very young age. Not to hate, but to love and to care and to do something together. Let's innovate. Let's create. Let's build. Let's paint. Let's do something. Something with art. Something that everyone can understand instead of shooting one each other, you know? That would be the best solution, but that will take 20, 30 years from now.